is the spinal cord model. First of all, we'll go over the white matter. Okay, in the white matter, there is the dorsal funiculi. Use the bottom one. Huh? Use the bottom one, it's easier. Uh, dorsal funiculi, because it's on the posterior side. And the lateral funiculi, it's on the lateral side. And the ventral funiculi, it's on the front side. Uh, now the gray matter, posterior horns, as you can tell. How you can tell they're posterior is because they're touching, almost coming out, they're touching the outer part of the, circ of the spine. Uh, the lateral horns, it will be these when they're here, it's sticking out on the side. As you can tell, this looks like a butterfly. And the anterior horn in the front. And the gray commissure would be in the middle portion right here. And the central canal, this hole right here. I'm sticking my stick in there. And the dorsal root. Dorsal root would be was it this one or that one? Uh the first one. This one, right? Mm. Dorsal root. And the dorsal root ganglion, this swelling right here. And the ventral root right here in the front. And spinal nerve is where it begins. And they come together. They come together to make the dorsal or the ganglion. When they split up. Yeah, when they split up, this becomes the dorsal root ganglion. And so that's spinal nerve. Posterior, posterior median sulcus right here. And this is the anterior median fissure, not sulcus. The reason why it's a fissure is because the groove is a lot deeper than where sulcus is just barely indented. All right.